So hello everybody, I decided to make a little video about the confusion of this little button right here that I was having and I feel like I'm the only one that I was actually confused about it but nevertheless it doesn't really matter. Hopefully this can help you guys out too, some of you that didn't understand it as well as I did. So basically it's the auto uh, crossfade uh, enable button and initially I thought that this button if you uh, enabled it it was uh, it would create a crossfade once you created a split but that's not what it does so what it does is if you already have two separate items and you join them together it'll create a crossfade at the overlapping point so for instance if I was to just uh, separate this item and now I decided to overlap it'll create an actual crossfade okay and now if I take this off and I overlap it creates no crossfade so that's pretty much what uh, this button was for now in the end I was still looking for a button to be able to uh, toggle on and off to create uh, crossfades on uh, on splits and I found it which is right here this little gem right here which is toggle auto crossfade on split so basically if you activate it and now if you create a split it automatically creates a split or actually it's not doesn't create a split it creates a, a crossfade is so it on the split which is fantastic and um, so now that we got that over and done with I also found this other little gem right here that is also going to be very useful which is the toggle enable disable default fade in and fade out button so if you click on that what that does is that once you create a split it actually creates two fade two fade points one is for fade out and one is for fade in but it doesn't overlap the two items so that's so once you separate it the actual fade point stays with the item which is also fantastic so um, that's pretty much it now if you're wondering uh, maybe some of you guys are new and you don't know or you don't have the uh, toolbar up here it's because you have to create it it doesn't come uh, as a standard feature uh, which is not a problem because there's pretty much nothing you can't do with Reaper anyway all you gotta do is come to this upper section here right click until you see uh, this little toolbar right here rather this little menu and you go to custom uh, customized toolbar once you get in here this will both be blank your left side and right side will both be pretty much blank if I remember correctly and all you gotta do is uh, click on this drop down menu okay and you'll see uh, just scroll down until you see uh, floating toolbar section okay so there you have 1 to 16 just choose the first one there okay and once you've chosen it okay so once you've chosen it uh, at that point you'll have to add in the action that you want or the button that will refer to uh, the action so you go here you go to add and in the filter you just type in what it is that you're looking for so let's say in my case I wanted to get that auto crossfade button so I just go to type in auto cross I guess even just with that I should be able to find it and uh, let's see where would that be right enable uh, right here it is so if you notice right there toggle auto crossfade on split so that's the one I was looking for so once you find that you just double click on it this will disappear and it'll appear in this section here like like right here if you notice it's written right there okay it's right there and uh, it'll appear there and at the same time it'll uh, create a button for you which you'll see down you'll see the preview of the button down here uh, and at that point all you got to do is press apply okay this will disappear and now you will have created a toolbar but it probably won't appear right away if it does then you'll see it if it doesn't appear right away you'll have to right click and go to open toolbar and look for the the toolbar uh, in your case yet you chose toolbar floating toolbar one unless you rename it which you can't do 
uh, in the uh, the other menu, uh, which I did in this case. I named it Grid. Then you click on that, and uh, it'll open up the toolbar. So at that point, it'll either be floating or it'll be uh, it'll probably, most likely it'll be floating, and then you'll have to decide where you want to position it. If you want to leave it floating, well, then it'll stay floating. Otherwise, you can just go here to position and choose which one of the many positions you prefer to have that toolbar. In my case, I like to have it at the top of main window because it stays there all the time and it becomes part of the actual interface. So I hope that uh, helped you guys out. And uh, I can tell you, it sure has helped me out. And uh, so that's it. That was pretty much where the confusion uh, was all about. Take care and hope to talk to you guys soon.